So here we have the Ford Focus automatic on a 19 plate. This is the new shape Ford Focus, as you can see. Uh, it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Uh, we'll hop inside in a second and run through the controls once we've made our way around the whole of the car, uh, starting off inside the boot. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this boot space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total mass of this car, which are 1810. In that section, we currently have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel for various different types of menus, from satellite navigation, audio, all the way back around to the beginning again, as you can see. Below that, we've got the fuel gauge, coolant temperature gauges, and you can see what gear the car is in, uh, currently P for park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the right-hand side is the button I was using just a minute ago. We have stereo and phone controls beneath that, which uh, continue over here, at least the stereo controls do. Then we have cruise control and speed limiter above that. Just behind the steering wheel, we have a minus and plus pedal that is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center is where, amongst other things, you can pair your phone. So we can turn Bluetooth on. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow those instructions on screen from there. Uh, this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how that works, uh, which you can find both on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. And when it comes to music in this car, we can listen to it via AM, FM, and DAB radio. We can stream it via Bluetooth audio once we've paired our phone. And we've got two separate USB inputs. So if you plug devices into either or both of those, you'll have extra boxes appear up on there for uh, USB as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature, the fan speed up and down from here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be directed. The air conditioning is on when this light shows so off or back on again or hit auto. The car will now maintain these temperatures for you by taking full control of the fan speed. Override that simply by readjusting the fans and putting back on whatever setting you want it on just here. Uh, we've also got a uh, heated rear screen just there and a proper heated front screen. We have heated driver and passenger seats with three different heat settings on each. Under that, we have a 12 volt charging socket and USB input. This is where you can select the gear for the car. So park, reverse, neutral and drive or manual mode. We have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. And then these four buttons just here. This one turns on the parking sensors this turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now off. This turns off the traction control and this will change the driving setup of the car from normal to eco or sport. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.